What's happening, people? It's your girl, Elena Besser, and welcome to Boozin' with Besser. Today, we are going to be making a boulevardier. What do you say? Let's do it. I know what you're thinking. Who is this ravishing young lady that loves to drink a stiff beverage like a boulevardier? Me, it's me, I am Elena. I am a trained chef, but no, I am not a mixologist. And listen, just because I'm not a mixologist doesn't mean I can't make delicious beverages. And you can too. A Boulevardier is a really fun drink. It's actually the same build as a Negroni, which is a very popular cocktail. The only difference is that we are swapping out the gin for bourbon. The bourbon adds a really nice, cozy, woodsy feel. If you're a Negroni fan and you're drinking Negronis all summer long, you're slinging them, the seasons are changing, my friend. Get, get on that bourbon train. This drink is actually one of my husband's favorite cocktails to order. And if you want brownie points, with the bartender and you order a Boulevardier, they're gonna be like, my dude, really, really great order. Love that for you. Personally, I prefer bourbon over whiskey or rye, but honestly, I don't really know the difference between them. Can you help me out there? I would Jador to help you out with that. Bourbon is technically whiskey. However, bourbon is aged in charred oak barrels and it can only be aged in those barrels one time. The fact that there are barrels and barrels and barrels that can only be used one time for bourbon makes it pretty special. So without further ado, let's make this thing. Very, very simple. A Negroni, as we know, all equal parts. One, one, one. One ounce of each of these things. What are these things? <laughs> We've got Campari right here, which is a bitter orange aperitif. We have Dolan Sweet Red Vermouth. And today we're using Michter's Kentucky Bourbon. Starting with one ounce Campari. Do you wanna hear a fun fact about Campari? Absolutely. So Campari's original color what made it red is a dye that is naturally produced in insects. Isn't that crazy? So it's like bug juice is what made it colorful. However, unfortunately, today they use artificial food coloring. So I don't know what's worse, bug juice that's natural <laughs> or artificial food coloring, you tell me. One ounce vermouth. And for vermouth in general, once you open it, you should store it in the refrigerator. And you're gonna wanna use it within a month of opening it. It's just going to make sure that all of the flavors stay really true to what they're intended to taste like. And our bourbon. So spicy. Fun little story time about bourbon. Uh, I used to cook in a restaurant and if you've seen the bear, you know that working in a restaurant is really intense. And after a night of service, you are wired. So I used to go with my fellow cooks to a bar. I would order a bourbon on the rocks. I would sit there and I would drink it and I would think I am a hardcore mother and so that's my story about bourbon. Those days are gone and now I'm making these cocktails with you. But you gotta love a full circle moment. And now we're going to add our ice. And then this cocktail is actually stirred instead of shaken. If you have a lot of people coming over, it's so easy to batch. So let's say I'm making a drink for Zach our lovely DP and cameraman, um, and Xander, if he were here. You can just make as many as you want in one glass and chill it all together. And if you do not have one of these mixers, you could mix it in absolutely anything. Now it is time to get our chilled glass, frosty, and we are going to add a large cube of ice. Is this gonna fit? Oh, it fit, yay. 
and we're just going to strain this out. And what's nice here is the large cube is going to melt more slowly, which will make sure that this drink doesn't continue to dilute. Garnish, we're gonna do a nice fat orange peel. Express those oils. I really like that the orange oils are highlighting those vanilla and spice notes that are in the bourbon already. And there you go, a Boulevardier. Cheers, let's give it a taste. This is so good. It gives you that really delicious bitter orange, but the bourbon, vanilla notes, and woodsy notes really round out this cocktail, so it feels super cozy. It feels perfect for the colder months. And as soon as you take a sip of it, those orange oils hit your nose and open up your palate and really boost all of the flavors that exist in this drink. I love this. I know you're going to love it too. And you can see Boulevardier, so easy to make, equal parts of everything. If you want the recipe, just head to the description below and you can get it yourself. You can make it for your friends. You can batch it in advance. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button for new Boozing with Besser videos every single week. We're staying boozy. Cheers. See you later.